my lovely Gemini. Welcome to your reading for November 2024. This is a general reading for you, Gemini. It's a reading for Gemini, Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. That will be specific to you. Heads up, my yearly general yearly readings are posted for 2025. If you would like to have your own personal yearly projection for 2025, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. That is a limited time offer. It is available till the end of January 2025. So if you would like that reading, please make sure you don't miss out. My lovely Gemini, what am I getting? It's a really interesting energy here. This is going to be a month of variables, they're telling me here, variables. It's a month of um, planning big ventures, making big plans, but then also having certain obstacles or thoughts or issues to overcome. So it doesn't come without its shall we say roadblocks without its roadblocks and then the roadblock is put in place to get you to slow down to stop to reflect and to look at um, so that you don't fall into the the patterns of old this is about a renewal of who you are the plans you want to make who wants to start a new business maybe you this is the energy that's with Gemini starting something new could be a new relationship, the, uh, renovating a home, a new home, a new job. Uh, it could be uh, just reinventing yourself, starting a new business or a new venture. I feel like in November there's going to be some opportunity that is coming your way. Someone will, you will either hear of something that is going to be quite lucrative and very good for you or someone will come up with and present you with a proposal or an offer. What you need to be mindful of is not allow your limitations or fears to uh, stop you from the success this could be. So I feel like this is going to be quite a good opportunity for you. Well worth the effort. Well worth the effort. So... It'll be an interesting month for you, Gemini. Let's have a look at what your totem animal is. Let's have a look at what is this totem animal for you? Oh, the goat. Yes, you see, solid. Walk on solid ground. The goat is, I think it's reliable. Mm. Reli reliability. The goat is assured of its steps. So you, if you're in doubt, don't make any decisions. Make sure you're sure-footed in your movement forward. There is a lot of opportunities that are there for you in November, but just make sure that you are on solid ground. That is, you've dealt with anything you've needed to deal with from the past. You've dealt with any fears or blocks that you might have. Because November holds, this way, November holds quite a lot of op opportunities and possibilities. So the goat, you look at the goat, the goat is quite, um, it, it's very sure-footed. The goat is very sure-footed. The goat can walk up the side of a mountain on a tiny, tiny track. They don't fall. They're really sure about how they place their feet, how they proceed, how they move forward. So in any forward movement for you, make sure you know where you're putting your thoughts, your energies. Make sure it's solid ground. Don't jump into any, any decisions. Don't make hasty decisions. Really investigate. Is this what you ask yourself the big questions? And if this opportunity is a good one, but you think, oh no, I don't know, then you need to look at what's holding you back. What fears do you have? What doubts do you have? Because it's a time of re mm. Reprogramming your thought patterns. Because there's a lot of good fortune coming up here for you. Let me see. I'm just creating your Celtic cross, as you know. Let's have a look at what that is. 
Let's see what is coming up for you. My lovely Gemini. What's going on with my Gemini? Oh, there's three there. Great. Okay. Let's see. Let me just sort this out. Let me line it all up. Okay. So what have we got? You start the month off with justice. So... This is either some legal dealings, signing of contracts, signing of a lease, um, formalising something legally. This is also looking at uh, situations around you in an unbiased way. You may also be asked to mediate in, uh, in, in a situation that's coming up for you. So I feel like there's a level, level of mediation. You may be the mediator. You may be the, the, the voice of reason in, in this situation, reasoning it. I feel like there's a triangle. There's three. You, you are there and you're the voice of reason. So it's interesting to see what sort of situation comes up for you uh, in that at very beginning, and maybe it's happened in October, very beginning of February. You've also got the High Priestess, wonderful. The High Priestess is getting in touch with your intuition, understanding what your dreams are saying to you. A sense of knowing. Use your intuition in moving forward because that also gives you that solid moving forward, understanding um, that sense of, you know, if something doesn't feel right for you in November, just slow down the process. The high priestess means that the veil between the worlds for you is thinner so that if you meditate, if you connect, you could connect with your guides, you could get a, a sense of, of knowing from them as to what you need to be doing. You've also got the Hierophant, which is another very spiritual card. So at the beginning of November, you've got this great connection with the higher, higher realms, your higher self, your guides the universe, God, whatever it is you want to call it, there's a very, very strong connection, a faith in the unseen. So there's a lot to do with the unseen, a lot to do with a sense of knowing, a sense of how to proceed and what decisions to make. You've also got the seven of air. And this is about... Um, the seven of the seven of air, which is the seven of swords, is about what goals are you setting? What are you nurturing? What goals are you nurturing? They're not just going to happen. You need to nurture them. You need to decide what it is you're wanting to put in place. What aspect of your life are you wanting to work on? What aspect of your life are you wanting to improve on? Someone's purchasing something big here in November. Maybe a few of you are purchasing this. There's the possibility of a, per a, a big purchase coming up here for you as well. But that's part of the goal that you're setting. I think I need to sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. My sneezes normally come in threes, so we'll see. Okay, so the seven of air. They're all your ideas. They're all your plans. They're all your goals that you're setting things that you've been thinking about, things that you've been working on, things that you've been nurturing mentally to yourself. When you implement them, there's a sense of strength and confidence that you exude. You exude confidence with others. So if there's a partnership here, if there's something that you want to go into business with someone, you have a real strength here. There's a real, it's playing to your strengths. It's playing to your ability to connect with others, to connect with people, to really um, listen, Gemini, whatever you do, whatever you touch, it's just going to flow. It is just going to work. <clears throat> There's a real confidence and strength that you exude. But that's because you're sure-footed. You know what you want to achieve. You know where you want to go. You know what you need to do to get there. So I really like that. You've also got the three of fire. What does that lead to? That leads to you having opportunities. These are opportunities that are coming to you, opportunities that bring in change. So there is change coming in around you here. There's a new way of working, a new way of doing things. 
something puts that fire in your belly, something ignites your interest, a sense of excitement. That's what you need, a sense of excitement. Gemini, you will always need to have plans and goals. You can't ever just go, oh, I'm not going to do anything. There's always something on the back burner that you bring forward. There's something here that moves you, just keeps you moving along to improve your situation. It keeps improving, it keeps improving, it keeps improving. You've also got the Fool, and the Fool here is the beginning of the tarot deck. So you are beginning a new journey here, Gemini. There's a new journey. It's about having the courage to take on some new venture or some new aspect of your life. It could be committing to a relationship, having a child, buying a home, starting a business, get going for a promotion, transferring, you know, going for a new job, um, whatever it is for you. Whatever changes are coming in, they could also be internal changes, changing the way you see things, you perceive things, you think about things, changing your work environment to better suit you, a better way of working, planning overseas trips. There's just this, this abundance of newness that's coming in around you. You've also got the messenger of water. So there is a lot to do with texts, emails, messages, information or, or contacts coming from overseas or over a great distance. Um, there's, 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 a, there's a trip to, you're going over water. You're going over water. There's some sort of trip coming up here. Okay, but this is also be aware of the messages that are coming to you from the divine, from spirit, from your higher self. They could come through your dreams. They could come through someone saying something. They could come through a, a, a letter or a, a paper or something crossing your path with words in it that really resonate with you. You could be watching a movie or a show and, and something happens on that show that resonates with you, that triggers some sort of thought process in you. Be aware of those things in November. Very, very important. You've also got the aid of fire. Now, once you establish all these things, with the aid of fire, be prepared for things to happen very, very quickly, Things to opportunities to come your way very, very quickly. If you're looking for a property to buy or rent, it's going to come up. Go, wow, okay, I've got to, you've got to grab that. It's not, not, no time to sort of stop and think about it. This is a month of knowing towards the end of November, knowing yes or no, do you want it or you don't want it? What do you want to do? If, if an opportunity as a promotion comes up, know whether or not you want to do it. Yes or no, straight away, because there's lots of opportunities coming your way. Starting a business or being part of a business is an opportunity there that's coming your way as well. Setting things up to suit you. Things are going to happen really, really fast in uh, at the last week of November. Things, you're going to see things falling into place very, very quickly. And then you've got the Ten of Water. <clears throat> The, the wish card, the, gene, the, the card of, of good fortune. This is the card of feeling at peace, feeling loved, feeling whole, feeling content. So the efforts that you're putting in through November is going to lead to you feeling very, very satisfied about where you are and what you're achieving and what you're doing. It's a card of completions, emotionally complete, emotionally feeling content, emotionally feeling good about where you are and what you've achieved. doesn't necessarily mean you're emotionally happy because you've got a relationship. You might not be in a relationship, but you're, you're content with how life is unfolding at this point in this month, happy about the decisions you've made. You're feeling safe and secure. You're feeling loved. You're feeling appreciated. All those really good feelings. That's how you're feeling at the end of the month with, with everything that's going on here. You've got to understand that you follow your intuition. Whatever you feel intuitively you need to do in the month of November, just do it because there, there is a, a strength that that is the undercurrent to that, that flows with that, my lovely Gemini. I like it. There's a, you know, the fool, a new start. This is the Divine Abundance deck. Ah, oh, it's interesting. Faith. You've got faith. 
miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes, which is what's going to happen in the month of November. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. And love comes through intuition. It's a, love, love is connected to the water elements, which is what you've got a lot of. And so what you're needing, have faith, have faith, which is the hierophant that came out at the very beginning of your reading. Have faith in what you're wanting to achieve. It will just come to you. It will flow. Everything you need will always come. That's very Gemini as well. I like it. I like that, my lovely Gemini. I wish you love, light and many blessings for the month of November, my beautiful Gemini. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. That will be specific to you. Equally, if you would like to book a yearly projection for 2025 that will be specific to you, you can do that via my website as well. That is a limited time offer and it's available till the end of January. Mind you, January comes around quicker than you think. So make sure you don't miss out. Blessings to you, my beautiful Gemini.